guys, it's Ariba Che. I'm finally doing my first makeup tutorial. I'm not a makeup artist by any stretch of the imagination. So this is kind of my signature makeup look, I guess. This is usually how I have my base and my eyeshadow pretty much on my entire Instagram feed and I've been getting a few requests since the beginning of my YouTube channel, so that's been almost a year now, to do a makeup tutorial. I don't usually go in this much detail on a daily basis with my contouring, but if I'm going out or if I have an event, this is usually how I do it. My makeup brush set was kind enough to send me their oval brush set. I bought this waiver and I was expecting to have larger, kind of more glam and like sexy, like S-shaped wave. It's not the texture I was expecting from such a large wand because these are actually quite large. They're almost like an inch, I believe. So it ended up actually just crimping my hair and I was left with this really relaxed, natural, beachy texture. And I actually ended up really enjoying it. It lasted me pretty much all week. So at the end of my makeup tutorial, I'm going to give you a quick hair tutorial on this crimper. So I'm going to start by priming my face using NYX Shine Killer. And I'm going to grab one of the smaller brushes and go in with an orange corrector from LA Girl Cosmetics. This is going to counteract all of the blue veins under my eyes. And using one of the medium small brushes, I'm going to blend away the concealer. And then I'm going to grab the largest brush in the set to start applying my foundation. I'm going to apply a very thin layer using Born This Way from Too Faced in the shade Golden. And then whatever foundation is left on my brush, I'm going to just drag it down to my neck just to blend everything away. And once that's all blended away, I'm going to start my contour and I'm going to be using LA Girl Cosmetics Cream Contour in Beautiful Bronze and I'm going to be grabbing one of the smaller, thinner, longer brushes. So I'm about 21 weeks pregnant right now and it's so odd for some reason. My nose is getting chubbier in this pregnancy. It doesn't make any sense because I'm not really gaining weight anywhere else on my face. But for some reason my nose is bigger. I swear it is. So I'm going to handle that with some serious contouring. And using one of the small round brushes, I'm going to grab my LA Girl Cosmetics concealer in creamy beige and start applying the areas that I want highlighted. And this is the pattern that I'm left with. And now I'm going to grab one of the medium small brushes to blend all of my contouring away. It's really easy to get into the crevices with this smaller brush. To blend the contouring on my nose, I'm going to go back to the small thinner brush. And this is going to help me blend all of the fine contouring. So I'm just going to gently tap the darker contouring because I want it to be blended away, but I don't want it to be mushed into the highlighted areas. And now using the medium large brush, I'm going to go ahead and blend away all of the contouring on my cheeks, forehead, and chin. And we're done. And now I'm going to grab my NYX Cosmetics Highlight and Contour Pro Palette. And we're going to take one of the darker shades and the medium small brush to add a little bit more depth to my contouring. And then I'm gonna use a lighter highlight, which I probably should have refilled before this tutorial, but I'm gonna dig some out. Ah, got some. Okay, so I'm just gonna pat it gently underneath my eyes just on my forehead and a little bit on my chin. And now I'm going to grab the Holy Grail, the Huda Beauty Rose Gold Palette, and I'm going to mix Bay and Moon Dust for the inner corners of my eyes and underneath the ridge of my eyebrows. And then I'm going to go in with a medium shade, Sandalwood and Henna, and create a little bit of a shadow in the creases of my eyes and a little bit of cocoa on the outer edge of my eyes. And then using one of the medium small brushes, I'm going to blend everything away using Moon Dust. It adds a little bit of shimmer to the finish. I really like it. And then I'm going to go in with one of the really small brushes and create a little bit of shadow underneath my eye using cocoa and henna. 
And I'm going to grab my Kat Von D tattoo liner and I'm going to create a wing. And I usually don't wear a very thick wing. I usually like it nice and thin. Voila, we're done. And my new favorite lashes, the Huda Beauty Lashes in Jade. They're so natural and they're so long and pretty, I'm obsessed. For my lips, I'm using the Huda Beauty Liquid Matte in Famous. My lips are super dry this time of year, especially in the winter, so I can't really wear too many matte lipsticks, but this one has uh, oil in it, so it keeps my lips nice and moisturized, so it actually creates a really nice finish. And I'm going to grab my Morphe blush palette and I'm going to use one of the darker shades. And I'm going to apply it just on the apples of my cheeks. I'm going to grab the Anastasia Glow Kit for my highlight. I'm going to be using the shades White Sand and Hot Sand and one of the medium small brushes. And I'm just going to tap it into the high points of my cheek as well as the ridge of my nose, the tip right on the chin and a little bit right above my lips. That glow! And we're done! And now I'm going to give you guys a really quick tutorial using this three prong crimper. And the best way I found to use it was to take small thin sections and hairspray them very generously. And then just use my two fingers to flatten out the section. So starting at the top of the section, I'm just pressing the hair crimper down very gently and then moving slowly down the hair shaft. So hairspray generously, flatten with your two fingers, and then go ahead and start using the crimper. You don't have to hold it very long. I found that the crimper was actually quite strong in terms of heat. So I only held it for a few seconds and I was able to get the ridges quite quickly, which is really good. So you can see I'm taking fairly thin sections. They're long and thin. I wouldn't say they're any wider than a centimeter probably. And then I'm going to just go ahead and dump my head upside down and separate and shake out all of these crimped waves. I didn't film this, but I ended up spraying in a texture spray just to create a little bit of separation and definition into the crimps. And we're left with this really natural beachy texture. I really hope you guys enjoyed my first makeup tutorial. If you did, give me a thumbs up and leave me a comment below with your feedback. I'd love to hear it. Say bye bye! Say bye bye! Excuse me! <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> What's this look for? Bye bye! Bye bye! And if you aren't already, be sure to follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and my blog, millennialmama.ca for more hair inspiration. Don't forget to subscribe.